Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Omesha Patel. Today in this video, we are going to address the most frequently asked question that is how to replace null values with hyphen or any. Whenever you work on the real world data set, you always come across with some null records. And business user never wants to showcase null values as a null. They always want something to give more reference to like, let's say, hyphen, na or some empty space or any of the descriptive a statement that gives a meaning to that null values. Again, it depends on the business requirement and what's the logic behind uh, showcasing this null value with some specific string field or any uh, description that they want to give. But here, let's say we want to replace those null values with hyphen or any. So how to do that? So here I've used this bookshop uh, data set and based on that I've pulled this book title based string field which has this null record. So in this video I'll share two methods on how to replace this nulls. So first method works as highlight or let's say just right click any of the null record you have here. I'm right clicking and then select this edit alias and from here replace this null here and let's say I want to replace null values with hyphen. So just simply mention hyphen here, click on OK. So wherever there is a null values here will be replaced with hyphen. So this is one of the most easiest and simplest method that mostly people use. But this will change sheet by sheet. So better you go with something has a robust, you know, uh, way of replacing or treating this null value. So let's see our second method. So for that, I'll create one new calculated field and in that will pass on one specific logic that helps you in replacing any of the null value that you have within that string field. So go to the analysis, click on create calculated field and here I'll call the function if null. So basically this condition is a conditional statement itself that works for the null records and in that argument they ask you what specific string or the string field and next with whom you want to replace with. So here the expression one says any st string you need to pass or the string field. So here our title we want to check on. So we'll pass that title field. And the next expression asks you if there is a null within this title field then with whom you want to replace. So here let's say we want to replace this time with na. So pass that string field in a quotes that is na. Yeah, that's our logic. And now let's rename this field as treating nulls. Click on apply. OK. So this field is ready. Drag this and put just next to the title. And you'll see nulls are now replaced with any. So that's how these are the two methods that mostly people use. But I prefer going with this. Uh, robust method that creating a calculated field that works for all your worksheet you just simply need to rename you can work on any other stuff you want to do with uh, uh, changing the cases even uppercase lowercase proper case whatever you want to work on but you can create or treat or uh, all your string fields with uh, what format or anything you want to change I hope you like this video. If you really like, then do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such video. Till then, happy learning.